Hi folks, grey day today. Uh, right, oil painting. This is on the on old demo, cut in two. The face of many of the watercolours, the demonstrations. They are demos after all. Uh, now oil painting, three colours, cadmium yellow, pale, uh, cadmium red, and ultramarine. And uh, a friend sent me this photograph lovely photograph of uh, Lyme Bay, Lyme Regis on the south coast of Dorset, looking towards Golden Cap here, West Bay, um, Chesil Beach all the way through to Weymouth, beautiful, know all this coast very well, had many holidays here, down here somewhere, a bit further along is Mark Hicks's restaurant, uh, very lovely area but the sky, we've got to make something of the sky. I don't like uh, painting by numbers and doing uh, slavish copies of, of them. So I'm going to dramatise the sky even more. I mean, it's a beautiful sky as it is, but I don't want to copy the sky. I like my light colour, my dark coloured sky. And to dramatise the light in the sky, which we've got a bit in abundance. Right, I was just, just peeling off the uh cling film for my my little bowl here of uh the oil a bit of a uh, walnut oil and some alkyd walnut oil mixed in together uh some brushes uh four four brushes i think i'll put a bit of the foreground in I'll give it a bit of a support i'll put something along here it's, it's, it's my friend took the photograph from, from the east car park at the top of the cliffs and Lyme Regis is a very very fragile place the coast is very friable with the cliffs and they get prolonged rain and the whole thing start moving and all sorts of problems with houses there uh, but it's all part of the, what we call the Jurassic Coast it's the largest collection of fossils in the world and they're always being dug up and uh, even I've been down there hunting small fossils I found myself I've got an old fossil now right okay so let's uh, without any more ado let's I'm thinking of painting this with them with the oil just to start with it's an experiment so let's just do that just get a bit of a get some wet on there I like painting wet in wet but in oil I primed the paper with a coat of uh, of uh, emulsion, white household emulsion, and sprinkled in some some plaster, some plaster dust. Okay, I do. Uh, get your cloth, and then I've gone over it with a coat of uh, PVA glue, diluted a bit to seal it all. And I painted the other side too, so it's fairly, it's fairly flat, a little bit pousy in there, but won't worry about that. So let's get some nice blue. And some nice, nice, nice red. I'll just bump it in. There's a big cloud coming here. I put a low horizon in because the sky is really going to be the, the feature of this. Very interesting. And then we'll put the headland, headland in up here. Golden cap, sort of. And then a distant headland, there another one. And then the coming up here, that's West Bay around the corner. My neighbours moved from the house next door to us years ago, we moved down to Bridport. Which I love, we've had lots of happy times there. There's more of a st steep bit there. And it's a bit bold, but still, that, that'll do. We're not doing copy, so this is coming up here, and then we've got. I'll put what I can get in of it. This is, so we call it all Lime Bay. And. Uh, uh, and then. See around there. 
Okay, so that, that, that'll do, and there's a bit, a bit of stuff over the back here, looking towards Abbott's Bridge, I think. And Burton Bradstock, some lovely names around here. Oh, let's, let's get that. That sort of comes up there and goes down. Okay. There you go. We'll get it fairly accurate in case someone says, oh, I know that. And you haven't done it as I remember it. So, so there we are. So let's put in a bit of C. Grey, grey, grey C. So blue, just a bit of red. A bit of white. I mix the white with a, a bit of uh, blue and red. And with a nice light here. Okay. So that's more or less that roughed in. We'll put, I'll clean the brush and I'll put in a bit of, a bit of foliage. So a bit of red, a bit of blue. Missing the three primaries. So we'll just have this sort of coming up here. The only bright bit on the cliff top here. Unless it's dry as we can over it and... Oh, I love this. I've done the watercolours today, so I haven't entirely wasted my day. Okay, so that's just the base of it, so we'll uh, go back to this sky. Now, you, I can see that the paint, the paint is, uh, or the oil is running down with gravity now, but it doesn't matter. I'm not finishing put it flat. So right, well, let's get in a nice light colour for the uh, cloud or the white behind behind the sky. Sort of counter change against those cliffs. Or oh, white. Yeah, we can we can take liberties as artists, we can paint what we like, how we like. Right, go back in with a keep the brush clean. Get some nice darker stuff now. I've been using uh, Swarfiga to uh, clean my brushes. With this brush, I didn't do such a good job on it, the brush bristles have gone a bit hard now. I'm not using any any brush cleaner between coats. I'm just cleaning the brush brushes in a, in a piece of toweling. All right, let's just have a little bit of different colour here. I might have to soften all this. I love doing this, guys. Right, I can sort of see what I'm doing there. Just that break in the cloud a little bit here. And it comes up over there. The sun's behind that bit, obviously. 
Um, clean that brush a bit. Bit of oil. And just a little bit in here. A bit dark on that horizon, I think, so that the threatening clouds coming up. Good is it? Oh well, I can put the I can put the uh, light against the dark, and I can put the cliff behind there. Right, okay. Quite liking that, but I need some soft in there. Get all this sort of before I start to model. Do those cliffs with a small brush. I mix a bit of Alkyd Griffin with um, with the uh, white, the titanium white. Okay, well it's looking okay. We went to a Art in Action show oh, about, about a couple of years ago and there was a guy exhibiting a beautiful clinker-built boat, yacht, small yacht, I don't know what they call it, that he had made and I asked him where he came from and he said, well, I come from, from Dorset. And I said, oh, we went into an old lifeboat station, which was now a boat building, traditional boat building, apprenticeship place. And he said, yeah, so I did my apprenticeship there. I thought, well, what a wonderful, wonderful skill. Okay. I keep working at this until something something good happens. Yeah, it's drying off a little bit. A touch. It all smells walnutty. Soft. It's all very soft. Right, I'll let that, well I need to put down, down there, then I'll start to model, model those bits in there. So, because we're, we're, we're dark in there, so we need to distance in there and we're going to have a nice light grey on here sort of a mid-tone I'm going to put a little bit of, bit of darker colour there underneath it Showing 
some light catching it. Okay, now we do golden cap. No detail in there whatsoever. Because it's so It's got to look like a golden cap. Oh, I get complaints. So, oh, jump down there. Okay, so another bit of grey. The trouble is with, with this is that there's quite a bit of left on your palette. And So what do you do with it? Scrape it off right away? No. Paint and paint tomorrow. It'll still be wet. We've got a bit, a bit here. Or more white. That's distance. Uh, a bit of green now, I think. I was speaking to Alan Owen this morning. He's been trying those water soluble oils and he doesn't think much of them. So I'm not going to even think about trying them. Not with all these oil paints here. Uh, right, that's a dark. So this picture's only about. Oh, 11, 10, 10, 11 by 7. Quite a... The darks for a greeny colour in it. A darker than that. Some nice dark, sort of cliffy rocks down here. Uh, red and blue, that gives a nice dark. I can't see any lights on any of this, but we can make it up, because we want that to counter change against those darker rocks that I've just put in. sort of grey, dark grey. This golden cap is the highest point in Dorset, or oh, on the south coast. Count change in there, I think. It's a bit of a, of a light green catching the light here. All right, now get those dark rocks back. Do a show against. Okay, Right now, clean, clean the stuff. No, I'm just using a cloth to clean the brushes and I'm changing the brushes according to what uh, 
tone I'm using. So we're going to have this light grey all the way around here. Uh, that was supposed to be another bang in there. So I'm trying to get the darker blue. Don't think that's a very good there. straight along there so let's just get that in. It's so indistinct. Try and get that light showing on the uh, on the sea now. Careful. I'm slowly going grey. Well, huh, I'm not, but I was. I haven't got much to go grey. I get that to nice tidal sort of grey in there. <sighs> it's slowly going uphill, but that's right. Put a bit of masking tape along there. Just try and get that, that colour there in this uh, water, sort of a low tide, no. It's just all a little bit too. too. Uh, We want lost and sort of found, really. I'll just keep working at it a little bit longer. It's just that soft, that lovely softness we have. Blend it a little bit, that's better. A little bit better. Just, just merge it. Lost and found. All right. Uh, absolutely no, no light in that whatsoever. Uh, just a tiny bit. And a mist on this. in the light up there. Nothing on Golden Cat. It's just a 
Well, it would be catching the bit of light. Beautiful. It's, it's a lovely thing to see. It changes colour. This, this is all sand. And it, it changes. It's a beautiful. Light like breaking through that. Okay, that, that'll do. Right, I'll just get my, my soft, soft brush, which is that one. And see if we can just do something about this. Uh, Softening all this here. So no toxic smells, just just a lovely smell of water. Right now. I mean, there's no limit to this other than your imagination, my imagination. Uh, there's a bit of stuff in there. Okay, I hope that that little headland shows up there, but it's so it's so indistinct. But if I can maybe merge it a little bit. Sorry for marking it. So we've got the lightest sky under the darkest under the darkest cloud there and then a bit of a, more of that dark grey in here. Let's gently blend it. Okay, more blue, I think. Okay, totally different to the ones I did a week or so ago. Uh, I just want to just get a, get a brush and just get some. these darks. Mixing the three primers you get wonderful colour but if you but don't don't blend it just leave it as it is. You just put the three colours on your brush and you get this lovely warm warm stuff here. 
Okay. All right, well, that's. I'm not going to get any better than that, not, not as a demonstration. Well, it has to be started and finished. But what I've got is it's in my pants, I've got a mount to put on it. Uh, I'm going to get one of them. Oh, that's... Ah! <laughs> Sorts it all. Right, let's try again. So, a simple little oil, I've dramatised the sky, I've, I haven't missed it this, it's a bit too difficult to, for me to do that, uh, but even golden, golden cap, is, uh, you can't see the golden sound, but if we just try to blow it out a bit, maybe that might help. Blend. Well, it's, it's more or less, it's probably a bit higher than that. But. but as a quick impression, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's just zoom out. So there we are. Golden Cat, Lime Bay, from a friend's photograph. I thought I wasn't going to copy it exactly. This, this is more elongated, probably because I've gone from a sort of a wide panoramic, panoramic to to a more rectangular affair. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that as a demo. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Bye bye.